we've had here so far this evening. First down, Saskatchewan. The ball at their 35-yard line. Foul foul throws. Derek Zeno makes the catch and then is forced up at the 43-yard line for a pickup of eight. Steve Benjamin makes sure he didn't get any further. If you have just joined us, this is the way the ball game has gone. Saskatchewan led a 10-0 at the end of the first quarter, 24-13 at the half, 25-20 at the end of three quarters of play. It is now 25-23, Saskatchewan over Montreal. The Rough Riders have a second and two from their 43-yard line. Denny Ferdinand, the ball carrier, gets the first down as he crosses the 45 to the 46-yard line. Doug Scott, number 70, brings him down at that point. Well, you talked about the Calgary-Edmonton game. How about Rick Johnson? 26 touchdown passes already this season, and there's no question he's the reason why they're doing so well. Well, I think it's really been a solid effort all the way oh, around. Oh, absolutely, Johnson. but you've got to have the trigger oh, absolutely. Man. And he's just been superb. And he's good for the league because Rick Johnson is a really yeah. good image that uh, you want to convey. The pass was dropped by Tony Dennis. It's ruled an incompleted pass, but it was right on the money. Joe Pow Pow to Dennis, but Dennis was stuck the moment that he went high in the air. Well, number 27, Rick Ryan, the middle safety, times it perfectly, and that's the second tough hit that Tony Dennis has taken in this game, and sometimes they take their toll. He had the ball, but a good, good jarring tackle by Rick Ryan separated him from it. So it brings up a second and 10. Saskatchewan with the ball at their own 47. We're just underway here in the fourth quarter. 11 minutes and 40 seconds left to play. How about fires? Well, I'll tell you, Tony Dennis was open. And then Derek Zeno went high in the air to try and make a grandstand catch. Had no shot at it. But the guy who hit him was Tony Dennis. <laughs> I saw the penalty marker down on the field, incidentally. Illegal procedure, Saskatchewan number 81, declined third down. Third time that Ray Elgard has been called, and a low illegal procedure call, and Leaf explained it to you, he likes to hit that line at full speed, and sometimes he's just a little ahead. Well, sometimes it's, it's too many times. I mean, yeah. game in and game out, we see this happen to them, and granted, it didn't hurt them that time, but if, if Tony Could Dennis have. Had, had made the catch, I mean, it would have come back. That's, that's ridiculous. Jeff Preflin from his 32-yard line. We're going to have this one come back on a clip. The penalty flag is down. But look at this kid. He just will not quit. Jeff Preflin has been outstanding returning kickoffs and punts tonight. Mike McTagg finally abandoned him. But it's all in vain because there was a very obvious...